بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر سٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس بچرر ریکشن وچ از ایکچولی اباؤٹ دا کنورجن آف این الکول انٹو امین اینڈ اسپیشلی دا کنورجن آف آر نیفتھول انٹو نیفتھائل امین اینڈ آلسو ان ریورسیبل مینر دیٹ از ان دا سملر کنڈیشنز ود امائنوٹ چینجز وی کین کنورٹ نیفتھول انٹو نیفتھائل امین اینڈ آلسو نیفتھائل امین انٹو بیک انٹو نیفتھول The key concepts of today's lecture is the introduction to Bush direction, then the scope or uh, limitation of uh, Bush direction in this uh, field of synthesis, and then the conversion, uh, the different uh, parameters, the different conditions which are governing the conversion of hydroxyl compounds to amines, then primary amines to secondary amines, and then uh, M back uh, amines to uh, into. Uh, hydroxyl compounds in 1898 uh, Lepetit was the first uh, to discover this reaction uh, but he de did explain it uh, in a very broad banner or uh, in a deeply way but in 1904 Butcherer independently worked on this reaction and uh, completely describes the mechanism, the formation, the conditions of this reaction in from naphthol to naphthylamine and then back from naphthylamine to naphthol. So this reaction is uh, known as Bucherer reaction or sometimes called Bucherer lepitate reaction also. But mostly generally it is known as Bucherer reaction. Uh, so Bucherer reaction is the reversible conversion of naphthylamine to naphthol in the presence of an aqueous sulfite or bisulfite sulfite mean like the mostly use is ammonium ammonia along with ammonium sulfite or uh, ammonia along with sodium bisulfite and if those are converted into naphthylamine by direction with ammonia in the presence of sodium bisulfite or ammonium sulfate and uh, naphthylamines are converted back into naphthols by the reaction with water uh, in the presence of sodium bisulfite here you can see the reaction naphthol is going into naphthylamine on reaction with ammonia and sodium bisulfite and naphthylamine is going into naphthol on reaction with water and sodium bisulfite Uh, here is uh, some sco scope or you can say the limitation of Bucherer reactions. Uh, first thing, what type of uh, uh, reactant can undergo uh, these reactions? Uh, normally, naphthalene is used, but in addition to naphthalene, resorcinol, that is 1,3-dihydroxybenzene, or hydroquinone, that is 1,4-dihydroxybenzene, are fluoroglucinol 135-trihydroxybenzene these are the uh, regions which are known to undergo this reaction that is from hydroxyl to amino or from amino to hydroxyl the simply benzene derivatives uh, containing uh, one hydroxyl group or one amino group are not much reactive uh, in this case of, uh, of reaction uh, like that of uh, naphthalene derivatives. The polyfractional benzenes that is containing more than one functional group can undergo this reaction but there are some chances of secondary process which uh, led to the reaction to some other uh, products, some other types of cyclized uh, products or uh, byproducts and so uh, that uh, reactions are not too much uh, considerable in organic uh, synthesis. Hydroxy anthra uh, are the species which do not undergo this reaction. Here you can see the structure of this. This is 9,10 anthra And hydroxy groups are non, uh, not shown here. Uh, hydroxy groups can be present on any of the two benzene rings at any position. Four positions are available. 
on one uh, benzene and four positions are available on the other uh, benzene and hydroxy groups can be present on these benzene rings but these hydroxy anthraquinones are do not uh, are uh, not known to uh, react with uh, these uh, regions of ammonia and sodium bisulfide or water sodium bisulfide to convert into uh, amine or amine into alcohol Uh, second thing if we use uh, bifunctional naphthalene derivative uh, that is containing dihydroxy two hydroxy groups are uh, containing two amino groups then what will happen uh, then it is uh, shown by the different scientists that uh, if two amino groups are present on the naphthalene or two hydroxy groups are present on the naphthalene then one of them is uh, involved in the reaction mainly up to 80-90 percent uh, yield but the involvement of two, group, two groups both of the groups present on the naphthalene is too much low as you can see the example 1,5-diamino-naphthalene is treated uh, to convert it into alcohol and you can see here the 80 percent is 1 amino 5 naphthol and uh, remaining 20 percent is 1 5 dihydroxy naphthalene that is the bifunctional product is too much low as compared to the one functional substituted product one functional group remains intact and the other functional group is converted into the products in a large extent Uh, here we first discuss the conversion of uh, hydroxyl compounds into amines. First is the conversion of hydroxyl compound into primary amine. Here you can see the two example. First is uh, one naphthol and second is the two naphthol. Both alcohols are converted into primary amines. That is one naphthyl amine and two naphthyl amine. In the condition is just similar. That is ammonia with ammonium sulfate or ammonia with sodium bisulfite. Uh, so this reaction is mostly used uh, by the organic synthetic chemist uh, for the conversion of uh, naphthyl uh, alcohol into naphthyl amine because uh, the limitation of other routes that is the, uh, the conversion uh, from other routes is too much longer and involves m a number of steps and uh, you know as the number of steps uh, are increased in uh, an organic uh, synthesis reaction then the yield is going to be decreased because of uh, filtration, evap evaporation or workup at every step there are chances of the loss of the product so yield is decreased too much if the number of steps are increased so this reaction is wonderful in this regard that it uh, converts uh, a naphthyl alcohol into naphthylamine in just a one pot reaction or one step and uh, also giving a yield uh, of 88 percent or more than 88 percent Uh, one important point uh, was noted in this conversion of hydroxyl compounds to primary amines uh, by the reaction of naphthyl alcohol in, uh, into naphthyl amine that the sub substituted uh, naphthyl alcohol that is uh, the naphthalene containing two hydroxy group at different positions and also a substituent like sulfonic acid then the uh, reaction also uh, was proceeded but in a some different way different way was that uh, it uh, preferably formed the product uh, with the one hydroxy group out of two and that one hydroxy group is that one which is not present in adjacent to the sulfonic acid group that is the hydroxy group which was present on the same benzene ring in which sulfonic acid was present there was no reaction on this group but the other hydroxy group which was present uh, lonely in one benzene ring that undergo was undergone into the reaction so this the effect this was the if, uh, explaining the effect of uh, sulfonic acid that is also the considered as the hindering effect of the sulfonic acid group which causes the reaction to take place only on the other ring 
not on this ring which is bearing this sulfonic acid group here you can see the three examples one is 2,8 uh, dihydroxy 6 sulfonic acid second is 2,5 uh, dihydroxy uh, naphthalene 7 sulfonic acid and uh, third is the 1,5 dihydroxy naphthalene 7 sulfonic acid among these three regions you can see the conversion in which only that um, uh, hydroxyl group is converted into a minor group which is present lonely on the benzene ring the other hydroxy group which is present on the benzene ring of sulfonic acid group is not converted into the product if the substituent uh, is replaced uh, by uh, from sulfonic acid to carboxylic acid then what is the reaction well you can see the reaction that uh, the compound 2-hydroxy-3 uh, naphthoic acid is treated with ammonia in the presence of sodium bisulfite and we get only 2 naphthylamine as a main product with 67% yield and other is a dimer in which 2 naphthalene uh, groups are attached on the sim uh, single amino group that is a secondary amine is produced with 23% uh, yield here in both of these products you cannot see the carboxyl group present it means that uh, the sulfonic acid remains is its uh, uh, identity throughout the reaction and it is present in the product also but the carboxyl group is decarboxylated into C carbon dioxide and it is uh, removed from the uh, this naphthalene group and we get the products with without carboxyl group so it means the presence of carboxyl group does not matter to this uh, uh, reaction as like that of sulfonic acid but if we convert this carboxyl group into ester that is uh, this uh, in instead of carboxyl group there is present carbethoxy group that is ester group then the similar uh, similar uh, reaction occurs that uh, the uh, like that of sulfonic acid group that it uh, shows its hindering effect and the reaction does not occur on that hydroxy group which uh, is in adjacent to that carbethoxy group so it plays the similar role as for the sulfonic acid group but the carboxyl group has no role in this reaction uh, if we use the heterocyclic moiety uh, that is the starting uh, region is a heterocyclic alcohol then what will happen to the nature of the product here are some example first is the 8 hydroxy quinoline which is converted into 8 amino quinoline and then the 6 hydroxy which is converted into 6 uh, amino quinoline like that of naphthalene and uh, third is the 8 hydroxy uh, quinoline 5 sulfonic acid and it is also converted into the amino group that is uh, here you can see the uh, sulfonic although the sulfonic acid is uh, group is present but uh, the uh, phenolic group hydroxy group present on the same benzene ring is going to be converted into amino group so uh, it means that the sulfonic acid in this heterocyclic quinoline moiety is not playing the similar role or maybe the position matters that here the sulfonic acid is present at the fourth position and this fourth position does, does not hindering too much to the hydroxy group and so hydroxy is easily converted into the amino moiety uh, now we shall discuss the conversion of hydroxyl compounds to secondary amines uh, as we have discussed in the previous slides that the reaction of hydroxyl compounds with ammonia gives the primary amine and the reaction condition is uh, too much low as compared to that uh, which is required for the conversion of hydroxyl compounds to secondary amines in case of secondary amine conversion we have to use uh, a primary amine that is methylamine or uh, ethanolamine ethylene diamine here you can see the structures of these uh, moieties uh, ethanolamine ethylene diamine methylamine etc these primary amines are treated with the uh, naphthalene hydroxy compounds and then we get the uh, on the similar route we get the product but this time the product is a 
secondary amine. The conditions are uh, too much high for this uh, secondary amine. Here you can compare that the amination of 1 ethyl 4 sulfonic acid takes place smoothly at 90 degree C when we use simple ammonia uh, in the presence of ammonium sulfate or sodium bisulfate. But if uh, the substitution is done with methylamine, then the reaction has to be proceeded at 150 degree C and uh, also in an autoclave. Autoclave means we have to maintain the pressure and temperature for the proceeding of the reaction. Pressure is maintained uh, through the use of steam in an autoclave and uh, temperature is uh, also maintained like way and we have to uh, give the temperature of 150 degrees C which is more uh, higher high as compared to that of uh, 90 degrees C The second is the uh, point here uh, for the conversion of hydroxyl compound to, uh, to secondary amine is the use of uh, uh, aromatic amine instead of uh, alkyl amine which we have discussed in the last slide. The use of uh, uh, aromatic amine or aryl amine has some limitations as compared to that of alkyl amine. Here you can see the first reaction which is going to be performed with 1 hydroxy 4 sulfonic acid of naphthalene then uh, the reaction with aniline does not occur at the temperature of uh, 100 degree C at which normally the other uh, naphthalene derivate here you can see the 2 naphthol 6 sulfonic acid and 2 naphthol 8 sulfonic acid both are reacted with uh, this aniline and both react at 100 degree C to form the product of secondary amine but uh, the 1 hydroxy 4 sulfonic acid does not react it may be due to the presence of sulfonic acid group on the same ring that it does not uh, interact with this uh, aromatic uh, aniline to form a secondary amine Uh, the interaction of aryl amines uh, with the naphthols and uh, that is uh, especially with the beta naphthol is more uh, uh, specially inter interacted uh, as compared to that of alpha naphthol. Alpha naphthol uh, is not treated with easily or do not uh, react with uh, do not react with uh, this uh, region to form secondary amines. Here are some uh, uh, order of the different amines which are used to convert hydroxyl groups to secondary amine. These are all aromatic amines and uh, they are given in some order here. You can see the first are uh, uh, relatively unreactive amines that uh, the reaction of these amines is too low with beta naphthol. All this, uh, these uh, order, all of this order is given as compared to the reaction of aryl amines with the beta naphthol. First is benzidine, second uh, beta naphthol amine, third is amino naphthol ethers, and uh, fourth is xylidine. Xylidine have you know different structures that ortho, meta, para or you can say it is 2,3-dimethyl, uh, 2,4-dimethyl, 2,5-dimethyl, 2,6,3,4, 3,5-dimethyl aniline. 5,6 uh, derivatives are included in this name uh, of uh, xylidine. Here the structures uh, are also given uh, in the similar order in which the names are given. Here the fourth number is xylidine and here also the fourth number is xylidine. Next is the ortho and para toluidine. Uh, it is uh, toluene which uh, contains uh, a minor group at ortho or para position. Next is aniline. All of these uh, regions are relatively less reactive towards this uh, reaction of the conversion of hydroxyl compound into secondary amines. Second are the type is the moderately reactive uh, species. These are para phenytidine, that is para ethoxy aniline, and then sulfonylic acid, having sulfonic acid group at para position. Meta anilic uh, acid, having sulfonic acid at meta position. All of these three are considered to be moderately reactive. 
then the extremely reactive uh, compounds are para aminophenol and para phenylene diamine here may be the good reactivity because of the presence of electron donating group on the para position of the benzene ring but here in, in case of moderately reactive there was uh, the presence of uh, group of sulfonic acid is actually electron withdrawing group which is present in meta and para position and in case of uh, para ethoxy aniline there is electron donating group uh, with a large uh, substitution on oxygen uh, so this is the basically order of the different uh, aromatic amines which can be used for the conversion of hydroxyl compounds into secondary amines as we discussed uh, conversion of uh, uh, beta naphthol into secondary amines in a normal way or you can say in the normal routine conditions uh, what about the conversion of one naphthol into secondary amine then uh, they although we have discussed in the last slide that at, at 100 degree c one naphthol was not converted into the secondary amine but we have to use some tough conditions for this conversion of uh, one naphthol into aryl amines as compared to that of beta naphthols and these conditions require the salt of an aryl amine at 100 to 200 degree c to react with uh, this uh, one naphthol in the presence of bisulfite to form the product also the echo solution of bisulfide uh, can also be used and uh, along with amine uh, hydrochloride and uh, we have to use autoclave for the conversion of this uh, reactant the now we, uh, what is the conclusion about the reactivity that uh, totally depends upon the aryl amines or it totally depends upon the nature of the naphthols then you can see uh, after comparing the both of the these types of reactions that there uh, is dependence on the nature of the nef uh, aryl amines but also on the nature of the naphthol here is the example you can see that uh, the uh, two hydroxy uh, six sulfonic acid and two hydroxy eight sulfonic acid both react with the toluidine four methyl aniline and uh, secondary amine is uh, created but the it uh, along with the same condition this uh, toluidine does not react with the two naphthol six sulfonic acid Uh, that is it does not react rapidly with the uh, two naphthol six sulfonic acid but reacts rapidly with the two naphthol eight sulfonic acid so the nature of the naphthol also explain the reactivity of the reaction along with the nature of the uh, aryl amine to form the secondary amines uh, here is another uh, aromatic amine that is benzidine which reacts with the beta naphthol but uh, in extreme conditions that is the most uh, strong conditions are required for the reaction of uh, benzidine with beta naphthols but if the substituents are present like uh, we are using 2 hydroxy 3 naphthoic acid or 2 8 dihydroxy 3 carboxy naphthalene 6 sulfonic acid then you can see the reaction of uh, this uh, these uh, beta naphthols with this benzidine and we get the secondary amine as the product so uh, here you can see the nature of the naphthol is explaining the nature of the reactivity simple naphthols are not reacting with benzene in too much uh, easy conditions but uh, these uh, derivatives of these uh, two naphthols react easily with this uh, benzidine and form the product the complex uh, amines uh, like uh, para rosa nilene it is also abbreviated as p rosalini but uh, its complete name is also written as para p a r a para rosa nilene 
it also reacts with the uh, sodium bisulfite uh, in, uh, in uh, with uh, two naphthol six sulfonic acid to form the substituted products of this rosanilin. Here the structure of uh, rosanilin is only seen uh, shown here. Uh, you can see it uh, contains three benzene rings with three amino uh, groups. One of the amino group is converted in, uh, into its a salt form with HCl. So this is uh, uh, the product is not shown here because uh, uh, there is not certain uh, confirmation of the nature of the product uh, till yet by the scientist. So the product is not given here. Also, only the it is written that it also reacts with the these uh, naphthols and can 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 form the products. Uh, till now we have discussed uh, the conversion of. Uh, alcohols 1 naphthol or 2 naphthol, alpha naphthol or beta naphthol into primary amine and secondary amines. Here is another way for the conversion of uh, uh, the for the formation of secondary amine that is from primary amine. That is, we can use 1 naphthyl amine or 2 naphthyl amine instead of 1 naphthol or 2 naphthol to form the secondary amines. That is, primary amine is converted into secondary amine and these. Uh, uh, secondary amines, uh, the, sorry, these uh, primary amines, 1 naphthyl amine or 2 naphthyl amine, react more easily as compared to that of uh, naphthols to form the product. Here is some example that is you can see first reaction is 1 methyl amino 7 naphthol 4 sulfonic acid, which is treated with methyl amine and alkyl amine to form a secondary amine. Similarly, second is the uh, 2 4 uh, hydroxyphenyl amino naphthalene. It is prepared by the reaction of 2 naphthyl amine and para amino phenol. Here you can see the nature of the product of secondary amine. The primary amines are converted into secondary amines. Uh, here are some other examples for the conversion of primary amine into secondary amine. Here in first example, you can see the conversion of uh, two amino uh, naphthalene six sulfonic acid into two phenyl amino naphthalene six sulfonic acid, and then the conversion of uh, two amino eight naphthol six sulfonic acid, two amino naphthalene six eight disulfonic acid, and two amino five naphthol seven sulfonic acid. All of these react with the complex amine of uh, para rosaline to form the product. Finally, here is the point which should be considered that uh, we have uh, discussed uh, that uh, naphthols are converted into amines and then the amines are uh, easily converted back into the naphthols. But this uh, reverse condition, the reverse uh, reaction is not possible for the n aryl 2 naphthyl amines. That is the secondary amines having aryl substituent on the nitrogen are uh, shown to be less reactive for the reverse uh, uh, reaction. That is w we get only the, uh, the secondary means from alcohol or from primary amine, then we cannot convert the secondary means back into the primary amine or alcohol. But this conversion is possible for the simple amines or maybe for the alkyl substituted secondary amines up to some extent. Uh, now we shall discuss about the conversion of uh, reverse conversion of primary amines into hydroxyl compound. The last discussion, uh, discussion was about the conversion of hydroxyl compounds into primary amine, then secondary amines, and then the conversion of primary amine to, into secondary amines. Now is the reverse conversion, that is the primary amine is converted back into the hydroxyl group. So uh, this back conversion is possible for both type of uh, amines that is alpha uh, naphthyl amine or beta naphthyl amine, both are converted into uh, uh, their uh, corresponding naphthol that is alpha naphthol, beta naphthol in quantitative amounts. Uh, the reaction uh, procedure is uh, known to be involved the uh, steps that uh, first uh, alpha beta naphthalamines are uh, converted into addition product with sodium bisulfide and this addition product is converted or decomposed uh, into alcohols by the reaction with uh, an alkali. 
uh, as we have discussed in the last lecture, that most of the substituted uh, uh, naphthyl amines are converted into uh, their corresponding uh, naphthols. But uh, there is exceptions that an aryl substitute the secondary means having aryl group at the N position are mostly not converted easily uh, are not converted uh, over at all into the naphthols. Uh, the different substituents present on the naphthyl ring has some limitations also for this conversion of primary amine into hydroxyl compounds and you should uh, realize that this uh, limitation or this conditions of uh, this effect of sulfonic acid group uh, plays the similar role in the conversion of hydroxyl compound into amines as we have discussed in the last slides that the that a hydroxy group was converted uh, which was not present in the adjacent of the sulfonic acid or that hydroxy was converted which was present but at some specific position like 1 4 position uh, which was uh, to conver convert it into the amine so here are some uh, main points which show the effect of sulfonic acid group on the replacement of amino group by hydroxyl group or also by the uh, replacement of hydroxyl group by the amino group. First is the 1-4 relationship which promotes the reaction that if the sulfonic acid uh, group is present on the same ring in which hydroxyl or amino group is present but that presence is at fourth position that is there is 1-4 relationship then the reaction proceeds easily and it uh, does not in, uh, hinder the reaction. Second is the conversion, uh, the uh, uh, derivatives that is 1, 2, 1, 3 or 2, 3 sulfonic acid that hinders the reaction as we have seen in case of uh, the conversion of hydroxyl to amines and here uh, there will be some examples for the conversion of amines to hydroxyl compound. Uh, third is the relationship such that the two groups are in different rings then the ease with which the reaction takes place is on that uh, uh, group which is uh, present uh, not adjacent to the sulfonic group or you can see there will be the less effect of this sulfonic acid group on the reaction. Uh, here you can see the example in which uh, the effect of sulfonic acid group is shown uh, first example is 1,8 diamino naphthalene 4 sulfonic acid and second is 1,5 diamino uh, di uh, diamino naphthalene 4 sulfonic acid. In both of cases you can see the product having the hydroxyl group at that amino group which was present at the fourth position of the sulfonic acid group. That is this 1,4 relationship promotes the reaction on this uh, amino group and the other amino group remains intact although it is present or uh, uh, simply uh, simple uh, unsubstituted benzening and there is no hindering effect also but the reaction takes place preferably on that amino group which is present at the fourth position of the sulfonic acid group so one four relationship promotes the reaction uh, for the conversion of primary amine into hydroxyl compound here are two examples uh, for the conversion of this uh, primary amine into hydroxyl group. First example is uh, that we have discussed in the last slide that is at uh, one position and at the fifth position, the amino group. But, but uh, the amino group at the one position was converted into alcohol. Here, this uh, first uh, amino group at the first position is converted into acetamide by acetylation. Then you can see the product is uh, simply on that amino group which is present at the fifth position and we can easily remove this uh, acetylation by hydrolysis into uh, again into the amino group. So the only way to convert the amino group at fifth position was to block this uh, amino group at first position. Second example is the uh, showing the uh, less reactivity of the sulfonic acid uh, group when it is present in the 1-2 position of the amino group. Here you can see the uh, compound uh, that is 1,5 diamine naphthalene 2 sulfonic acid in which the amino group which is present at the second 1,2 uh, relationship with the sulfonic acid group is not converted into the alcohol but the other amino group is easily converted into the alcohol. 
uh, one of the side reaction is also known for this conversion of primbium into hydroxyl compounds that uh, we get uh, no doubt we get the hydroxyl compound from primary amine but in addition to it we get a secondary amine in which uh, two amino uh, groups that is two uh, rectants are merged into each other to form a dimer that is we get a secondary amine this is a byproduct although it is in very small amount but uh, it is present as a byproduct so this can be regarded as the uh, limitation of this uh, conversion of primary amine to hydroxyl compounds that sometimes we have to face the uh, formation of secondary amines also uh, here is the case of conversion of secondary amines into the hydroxyl compounds uh, uh, as we have discussed one thing about this conversion that the amines having an aryl secondary means having an aryl substituent are not converted into the hydroxyl compounds but the n alkyl substituted uh, amines are easily converted into the naphthols or alcohols by the use of sodium bisulfite but here is uh, this thing should be kept in mind that this reaction takes place with more easily uh, with more ease as compared to that of primary mean that is the secondary mean having an alkyl substituted are easily converted into alcohol as compared to that of simple primary amines here are some example first is the n mono benzyl derivative of uh, one naphthylamine 4 7 4 8 uh, disulfonic acids yield the benzylamine up to 62 70 percent yield this uh, benzyl uh, is not uh, simply uh, working as like that of aryl because you know that benzyl group is that in which benzene ring is attached to ch2 group and that ch2 group is further attached to the nitrogen uh, so due to this uh, small chain of one carbon as an alkyl substituent it is uh, converted into alcohol uh, second case is the, that N monobenzyl 1-naphthyl uh, amine 4 sulfonic acid also yield benzyl amine uh, but in smaller amount and af also uh, after a long time. The first was uh, the uh, in last we have discussed which contained disulfonic acid. 2 sulfonic acid, the uh, benzyl amine having 2 sulfonic acid as substituents is easily converted as compared to that having one sub, uh, sulfonic acid substituent what is the basic reason uh, next it is uh, explained that the erratic cleavage because of the activating group of the sulfonic acid group okay but the sparing solubility of the compound hinders the reaction for one group but when there is disulfonic acid they, it is more soluble so reaction takes place very easily the NN dialkyl derivatives uh, that you can see will be a tertiary uh, amine also can be converted into naphthols by treating with sodium bisulfate uh, under some vigorous conditions but reaction can happen but the NN dibenzyl derivative although it is uh, aliphatic here as we have discussed uh, that uh, simple one N benzyl has formed the products but N and dibenzyl derivative of the compounds are not cleaved in to form the naphthol even at higher conditions or high temperature like that is 125 to 150 degrees C. Uh, so this is the all about of today's lecture for the introduction to the this book reaction and uh, some uh, examples or some limitations uh, for the this reaction. Next we shall discuss about the uh, reaction mechanism and uh, its applications and some are, uh, points are so about the reaction of this uh, alcohols with the hydrazine derivatives and thanks you know.